In December 2021, the Honga Tonga volcano in the Tonga Islands started to get active. It settles down a little bit until we get to January 14, 2022, and it starts to get active again. The eruption shot ash 20 kilometers into the sky. The ash that was launched towards space surprised everybody around, but they didn't know that this is just the beginning. The next day, this happened. The video you're seeing right here, don't think that it's from a helicopter or a drone, because if anything like that was close to this explosion, it would be long gone. This footage was taken by a satellite. When this explosion happened, it got the nickname, the biggest explosion in Earth's history. An explosion that people had not experienced before. The biggest man-made bomb we ever tested was the SAR Bomba, and that was 50 megatons. Experts estimate that this bomb had 100 to 200 megatons of power, but they don't know the exact amount. If this explosion happened in Europe, this is how big it would be. The diameter is bigger than Switzerland. This is another type of footage taken by satellite. The colors you're seeing right here are the electrical charges caused by the explosion. And you could say the ashes are acting like clouds in a storm and causing lightning. The Honga Tonga Island has no one living there. And if there's any living thing there, just know that they got destroyed because the explosion was not gonna let anything survive on there. But what about the people around, like the tiny island around there? As you know, Tonga is a country and it has a population of 100,000 people. Just like we said, nobody lives on Honga Tonga Island. But the islands surrounding the volcano suffered drastically. This is the city before the explosion, and this is after. Ash is everywhere. They told everyone to stay indoors and not breathe the ash in, because breathing in the ash could be extremely toxic and dangerous for you. What the explosion did was very bad for the surrounding islands, especially the fresh water. Since the fresh water reservoirs were open, they were filled with ash. The ash destroys plant life as well because it sits on the leaves and it doesn't allow photosynthesis to happen. In the long run, the ash acts like a fertilizer for the dirt, so it's good, but not if it kills all the plants. But the thing is, it's better for the ash to sit on the ground instead of staying in the air. Because if it stays in the rain, it causes acid rain, and that's because it has sulfuric acid in it. But let's continue. Let's get to the explosion, the biggest explosion ever. The footage you're seeing came from a satellite and the wave was caused by the explosion. But how did it sound like? We have to say that in terms of sound, it was not the loudest. But in an island that's 65 kilometers away from the Honga Tonga Island, this is how the explosion sounded like. The sound wave of the explosion went around Earth four times. That's how powerful it was. You could say the entire population sort of felt this explosion, but if they knew where it's coming from. Like in the US, this is how the sound wave passed. The red dots are the explosion noise. In Japan, it passed like this. It's good to know that nobody heard it, but the satellites did pick up the sounds. 
The farthest place from Tonga that actually heard an explosion is the eastern part of Australia. If this explosion was inside the water, it would cause insane tsunamis. But fortunately, it was above the water and it didn't cause an insane tsunami. But it did cause mini tsunamis. Like for example, this is the main island in Tonga. And as you can see, the tiny waves actually flooded the houses. But what happened to the actual island itself? The island that had the volcano and it exploded. The explosion didn't completely destroy the island and it's still there. But it's good to know that NASA and other scientists realized that this type of volcano is very similar to the volcanoes you find on Mars. And that's why scientists got together to work on this project and see what they can learn from this volcano so they can learn more about Mars. With the help of this volcano, we can figure out if there was ocean on Mars or not. This is the place that it exploded. And as you can see, it's clean. Because in a few months, all the ash that was sitting here was washed away by rain, storm, and ocean waves. And obviously, it all went inside the ocean. When some people see this spot, they say there's no way this place can explode like that. It's a nice spot for a picnic, but they don't know that this little pond of water that's sitting here, it's connected to the core of the earth. And eight months ago, it caused the biggest explosion in history. Scientists are actually happy about this explosion because they believe volcanic eruptions could be much more deadlier and they could actually end the world. But this explosion released some pressure off of Earth and basically delayed some other explosion. And it kind of showed people that who's boss. This This explosion actually helped a lot of scientists out because a lot of research are going into this volcano so we can learn more about volcanoes around Earth. And we could learn so much that we can actually control these ticking time bombs. So if you've seen our video about Yellowstone, you know it's one of the most deadliest volcanoes on Earth. It's always active. but they believe that one day it will actually explode and the explosion might end the world. But I'm no scientist and scientists are not gonna give up till they figure it out. In the end, we have to say that there's landmines everywhere on earth and we don't have the switch. Whenever and wherever it feels like, these bombs like Yellowstone or an Indonesian volcano could explode and end life on Earth. You might say, this is just a simple explosion, but if you don't believe me, watch our video about Yellowstone.